Hello guys, this is Ray Chen. So today we're gonna go over the topic name is be a hero. So if you want to provide the best custom service to your client, to your customer, to the homeowner, you want to become a hero. Okay, how do you be become a hero, you might ask. So there is a 10 steps that I have developed to assist you to become a hero to your client. You might ask, why do you want to be a hero uh, to your client, to my client? Why should I be a hero to my client? If you can be a hero to your client, then you will be able to provide the best quality of service. You will be able to you know, be, be the best uh, counselor and guidance to your client. Let me share with you why. So this first step, in order for you to become a hero to your, to your customer, to your homeowner, you have to first care about your homeowner. You have to care about the client. You have to care about the home seller. Uh, if you do not care about them, you're not gonna you know, want to find out you know, what's going on with them, why they want to sell the home. So if you don't care about your client, you will be just like you know, any other used car salesman. That's the perception a lot of people have about uh, you know, the salespeople. Why? Because, because there, are many, there are many salespeople out there that are just out there for the money, for the commission. They don't care about the customer. If you want to make sure that you can get provide superb service to your customer, to your clients, then you want to first care for your clients. Number two, you have to have empathy for your clients. What does it mean to have empathy? To have empathy basically means that you have to be able to, you know, walk in your client's shoes. If you understand that the type of shoes they're walking is making them feel in the pain, and if you also personally has been in that situation before, that you also can feel the pain, then you would you know want to treat your client well because you want to help them to alleviate the pain. So that's how you can have empathy for your clients. If you do have empathy for your clients, they can feel it, and you will most likely provide a great service versus if you're just going after the money or the commission, right? Number three, you want to remove the ego. You do not want to you know um, try to prove yourself. You do not want to try to prove you are right. You want to remove the ego. It's not about you. It's about it's about the client. It's about if you what you can do for the client, right? And the next step, you want to guide your client, guide them. You want to guide them. You are a counselor. You you do not want to be a salesperson. You do not want to push them to buy something from you. You want to guide them. You want to give them enough information. You want to you know um, provide provide them with enough data. So your client, your homeowner can, be, can make an educated decision. So that's come, that brings to the next point. You want to let your client say the answer. For example, let's say uh, we, have some, we have some agents out there. They, go, they, you know, they would argue with the client. They would say how much your home is worth. And the, if the client says a price that's different from what they think, then they would argue with the client. You do not want to do that. You never want to say the price. You always want the homeowner to say the price, right? So some people would ask, why, would, why should I not say the price? Let me give you a scenario. Let's say if the home is worth a million dollars. If you tell the client the home is worth $1.1 million, it's going to make yourself very difficult to sell the home. Let's say if you, on the other hand, if you tell the homeowner the home is worth $950,000 $950, or $900,000, the client might get pissed off. They're gonna they're gonna kick you out of the kick you out of their house, you know. So never say the price. You always want the customers to say the price, okay? And number six, you want to agree with the client. You want to agree with the homeowner. So for example, today I did a training with uh, one of my coaching students, and uh, uh, so although I was only acting as a homeowner, and he was acting as an agent, so he asked me how much do you want to sell your home for. I said, I want to sell my home for a million dollars. And then he said, oh, I don't think your home is worth a million dollars. I think your home is worth uh, between seven hundred to eight hundred thousand dollars. So here, uh, when I said something, he said something to complete opposite. And he's not agreeing with me. Although I was just acting as a homeowner, but I still got pissed off. It, it, it made me uncomfortable. And so that's why you do not want to try to be right. That brings us to the next topic. You want to agree with the client, you do not want to be right. So let me just ask you this question. Would you rather be right or would you rather be rich? We have a lot of salespeople out there, you know, that's, you know, uh, going, going everywhere every day trying to be right. If you try to be right, you will not, you will not make the money. 
Your key is to have the homeowner to agree to sell the listing contract with you, to agree to, to have you to service them. Uh, your, key, your, your goal is not to be right. Your goal is to, to have the homeowners willing to work with you so that you can help them solve the problem and at the same time, and, and at the same time you can make the commission. So you want to try, try not to be, always want to be right and you want to let the client to be right, right? You know, if they, are, if they feel they are right and you can make the money, why not? Number nine, you do not want to argue with the client, right? I bring back the same situation, the same example. So even though I was acting as a homeowner and I said my home is worth a million dollars and the, the, co the coaching student, you know, he was acting as an agent, but he was, he was agent and he was telling me it's not worth a million dollars. You know, although I was just acting, I was not even the real homeowner. That even made me uncomfortable. So you definitely do not want to argue with the homeowner or with, argue with the client. And the last step, you want to get what your client wants. So once you have your ego out of the way, once you really care about the client, and once you have the empathy for the client, and you guide the client, you do not you know, try to be right, you do not try to argue with the client, then you would have a chance to get the client what they want because you are not trying to be right. You are just trying to help them to get to where they want to go, right? That's the way to become a hero. You cannot become a hero for being you know, um, right. You cannot f become a hero for arguing with the client. Um, so that's what I want to share with you about today, which is how to be a hero for your clients, for your customer, for your homeowners. Obviously, I'm not trying to tell you to you know, to, 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 do, to work with just anybody. Now, there are some customers, there are some clients, there are some homeowners that are, that's just horrible. Like I have a client right now, uh, he has two homes that I was a listing agent. And I am still a listing agent for his home. So he, he always, he continued to change his mind. So he, so we already, the home is already, you know, in escrow. And he kept telling me, oh, I don't want to sell anymore. Then the next time we tell them, oh, the buyer, you know, will not let you cancel. They're going to ask you to, they, they will penalize for them, you for canceling. And then he said, okay, I'm not going to sell anymore. Then he would go back and forth, back and forth. You, you, when you agree to sell the home to the home buyer, you have a contractual duty to sell to the, to the home buyer. You know, you, so in this situation, the, the, the client is just a bad client, right? So in this situation, there's nothing you can do. You know, if he... If he doesn't want to sell the home, but I already found the home, the buyer for him, I could sue him, but I didn't want to, right? But I'm just giving you an example. You do not want to be a hero for every client. You want to be a hero for, for you know, at least for the normal clients, right? Okay, that's it today. So we just talked about how to be a hero uh, for, your, for your customer, for your homeowner, uh, for the clients. Uh, if you become a hero for you, for them, then you will definitely do a good job for them because you care about them and you, you will do the best job for them. Okay, until next time.